In this video, we're looking at the unit cube. So this is a cube with a side length of one, and one of its corners is located at the origin, and three of its edges are lying on the coordinate axes x, y, and z. And what we're after here is the angle between the side on the x-axis and the long diagonal that starts from the origin. So what I mean by the long diagonal, you have short diagonals that are contained within the faces of the cube, but the long one connects two corners on the opposite side of the cube. And there's the angle that we're trying to get. Now the key to this problem is to use vectors. And the first one is a vector of length one lying along the x-axis. And the second one is that vector that takes us along the long diagonal. And I'll just express these as a V and a W. And so the components of V, well, its X component is one, and then we do nothing in the Y and Z directions. So it's one, zero, zero. The components of W, that takes us from the origin, one space in the X direction, one space in the Y direction, and one space in the Z direction. So it has components one, one, one. Now the key to getting the angle between these two vectors is using the dot product. And the dot product should be equal to the product of their magnitudes multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them. Well, it looks like before we can use that, we have to find the magnitudes of these vectors. And the magnitude of V is the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. That's 1 squared plus 0 squared plus 0 squared. And of course, V has a magnitude of 1. It's just one of the edges of the unit cube. And then the magnitude of W, again, the square root of the sum of the squares of the components. And I get square root of 3 for that. Now it looks like we also need to find the dot product between these two vectors, and that's just the sum of the products of their components. And I get one times one for the product of X components, and then the rest of them vanish. I have a zero times one for the Y components and a zero times one for the Z components. So the dot product is equal to one. Now it looks like we have everything we need to compute the angle. I have the dot product, I have the magnitudes of each of the vectors, the only unknown left will be that angle between them, theta. So V dot W is one. The magnitude of V is one. The magnitude of W is root three. And the cosine of theta is the only unknown left here. I divide by root three on both sides and solve for theta. So that's going to be the inverse cosine of one over root three into three sig figs. I get 54.7 degrees. If you enjoyed this video or at least found it useful, Check out another one by clicking one of the links on the left, or click the Zach's Lab logo on the right to explore dozens of physics and math playlists. As always, you can leave your questions, comments, and requests in the comments section below, and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Thanks for watching Zach's Lab, and best of luck on your math and physics journey.